Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how we can share numer numeric values across threads using Java 8 long adder class. So in previous couple of video tutorials, we have covered how we can work uh, on double accumulator as well as long accumulator. In this video tutorial, we are going to explain about the long adder. So, so I have created a project is called long adder and we are trying to understand how long adder uh, works uh, basically so in long adder demo project let's create a interface first of all it's called long adder service so let's create long adder service in package com dot infotech dot adder dot service and this interface is having some method like long uh, increment long increment long decrement decrement and finally we have a long get value There are three methods we have declared in this interface. Let's create an implementer of this interface. In package is called IMPL and implementer class is called long adder service IMPL. And this is going to implement long adder service. So as this class implements this interface, so this class has to override all these three methods now in this implementation class I'm going to use private uh, long adder which, which imports happens to be from java.util.concurrent.atomic package and I would say uh, sorry long adder Let's create an instance of long adder. Okay. Now long adder has a lot of API. We are going to use long adder dot something is called increment, which will increment value by one. And finally, long adder has a method is called long value. So this will uh, return you the I mean final incremented value so now similarly uh, long adder as a decrement method so let's call it decrement so every time this will decrement by one so here basically we want to implement a count of counter this is I mean we are just trying to implement a counter and that counter will be incremented by the more than one threads and then we should not lose the any update so that's the our huge case over here and here again we'll return this value and finally this is going to return a final value so like this so pretty straightforward class now let's say i'm going to create a uh, to task so i would say long dot info date dot adder dot task package and here i'm going to uh, create a class is called increment task and this is going to implement a call level sorry call level interface okay and we are using we are passing long as generics so yeah now I'm going to create one more task in this same package is called decrement task and again this is going to implement callable interface okay so we are just we are passing along as a, as a generics now in both class so what I'll do let's declare variable like private and i will declare type of this interface 
Okay, here. Okay. And let's declare private long number of times. And let's let's import it. And let's initialize these fields using constructor. So go to the source and we have option is called generate constructor using fields. So let's create a constructor. Okay. And here let's complete this code as well. Here I'm going to apply a for loop. And for loop I'm going to start from zero and till number of times. Okay. And here what I will do. We have a reference of this interface so we will call uh, this method is called this class is called increment task so here we will call a uh, method is called increment so every time this is going to increment by one All right and finally we will if this will come out to the loop then this is going to return a get value All right so this will return the final value so there is very similar implementation I'm gonna write in decrement task right so here if I said decrement task then constructor we are, we are going to write so using constructor and so the code will be same so these things I'm going to do it and sorry and here instead of uh, this is uh, this task is for decrement so instead of increment we'll call uh, decrement right and finally this is returning the final value now let's create a client program so let's create a client program in this package com dot adder dot client and i would say client test which will have a main method and here i'm going to uh, I'm going to create uh, instance of uh, instance of this so this is just an interface you cannot create object of this interface so of course you will have to create object of this implementer right so new and we have a IMPL right so let's import it and here we have a two task right so we have a first of all increment task increment task so I would say this is our task one equal to new and we have a constructor right so here we can pass this long adder service and here number of times I'm going to pass uh, let's say 50 lakhs okay and similarly we are going to create a decrement task decrement sorry decrement task and this is our task 2 let's create instance of it and here I'm going to pass uh, 30 lakhs Now let's create a list callable list and so we are going to create a call level of list and I would say tasks equal to new array list press control shift o for organize import and in this tasks I'm going to add my these two tasks so add task 1 and task 2 sorry add not add all but add and let's add task 1 as well as task 2 task 2 
okay now uh, we want to execute this task parallelly so to do the same we are going to use executor framework so sorry executors and dot we have a new i'm going to create new cache thread pool and here uh, this is going to return us uh, executor service instance of executor service and here i want to submit list of tasks so we have a in method is called invoke all which accept collection of task so this task we are going to submit and this will return us the this is throwing an exception so just i'm going to declare over here now we'll have to execute this task uh, by calling just iterate this task and just call a get method on it so this will execute all tasks so this is throwing some exception again just i'm going to declare over here and finally when you call when you iterate this uh, list of tasks and when you call get method then all tasks which we have added in this list they are going to execute now here you can get the final value of the counter so let's call service dot get value so this will give you the final value so let's try to run it and see what value so here sorry here basically initially we are passing uh, 50 lakhs and then 30 lakhs so 50 lakhs will we uh, added in the uh, a long adder and again we are just de decrementing uh, 30 lakhs out of 50 lakhs so we are expecting to get the 20 lakhs right and this is going to perform by the multiple threads at a time so let's see what output we are getting so we are getting the 20 lakhs so this is absolutely working fine so if you run uh, every time you'll get the 20 lakhs itself so i hope you understood how we can work with adder uh, a long adder uh, class so if you look into the if you look into long adder class then long adder class has some more methods so i would say long adder and if you go to here then uh, these methods are pretty straightforward if you want to add some value then you can pass over over here dec increment and decrement this will if you see internally increment calls the add method so this this is basically every time adding uh, value one uh, again if you see de uh, decrement this is subtracting one every time from the counter value and some basically this will return the uh, your uh, final value right uh, reset this will always reset the value so this will again reset uh, with the initial value then sum then reset this will give you the final value and then again re this will reset two string this is the representation of long adder so long value this is almost similar to sum itself now if you want to get return value of counter in the form of uh, int then we have a int value float value double value similarly these are the methods works so i hope uh, I, you understood this example properly so here we have created a interface then implemented of this interface there we made use of long adder and here just we have shown you how we can use increment decrement uh, as well as long value and finally uh, we had created two task increment task as well as decrement task and here from client program uh, we had created instance of long adder service and we have created two tasks this task we have added in the list callable list and just we are making use of the executor service to execute this task and we are getting the final counter value so this code i am going to upload on the github so that you can download and run try to run on your local computer and github location i am going to specify in the video description itself uh, if you have any query or any question then please do post below to this video itself and i will try to answer those queries and i will request you to please subscribe my youtube channel and that that's encourage me to upload more and more videos so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial